Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you what we received in the recent Sophie and Toffee Disney box which was themed Alice in Wonderland and I'll also be showing you how to make an Alice in a Bottle Shaker using the craft supplies included. So in this Disney box we received an Alice in a Bottle Shaker Mold, Alice in Wonderland Open Bezel Charms, an Alice in Wonderland Earrings Mold, some resin design film, an Alice in Wonderland signpost mold, epoxy resin, polymer clay ace cards, blue ball chain, five powdered pigments, earring hooks and jump rings, pink star glitters, and finally some UV resin. Moving on to the tutorial, I'm going to begin by making Alice. So I took my Alice bottle silicon shaker mold as well as a bunch of different pigments and I've got some pigments that came in the box as well as some powdered pigments that came in previous Sophie and Toffee boxes as well. So I'm starting off by adding the skin tone for Alice which was the pale red colour that you saw before and then I'm continuing on with her golden hair and the white details on her clothing. Then I'm finishing it off with the blue of her dress as well as the black on her shoes. I did also use the black to fill in the drink me part of the silicon mold and then I used a baby wipe to wipe away the excess so that it looked nice and clean. To remove the parts in the corners that were a little bit tricky to get at, I also used a cotton bud to help me as well. Then on top of that, I took some of my bronze powder pigment, which I used to fill up the mold for the drink me sign. I guess this could really be whatever color you like it to be though. Using the brown pigment that came in this box, I also colored in the cork part of the bottle. I'm then making a mixture of UV resin as well as some white pigment powder or pearly pigment powder and I'm just mixing this together really well so that the colour is nice and even. Once I did that I then put it into the drink me and the Alice moulds and then I cured it under my UV light. Next I'm adding some colours to the bottle shaker. So here I've just got some different pinks and purples and I'm dusting them on in kind of random patches of colour and then I'm taking some iridescent and holographic glitters and I'm making two separate mixtures with these glitters just using UV resin again. Once the mixtures of resin were ready, I then put them into the bottle silicon mold and made sure to spread them around. I didn't quite have enough, so I did have to pour in a little bit more of my UV resin, but once I was happy with it, I then cured it under my UV light. It was then time to take all the pieces out of the mold. So here's Alice and the drink me, and I then pulled out the bottle mold. And as you can see, some of the brown did remain in the mold. So I do have to fix that later on. And then the other bottle piece that I didn't show on camera is just plain clear UV resin. So here I am fixing the brown on the cork by brushing on some UV resin and just curing it very quickly under my UV light so that it's still a little bit sticky and tacky. And then I'm just brushing on some brown pigment powder again. I then decided that I wanted the inside of the bottle to be nice and shiny, so here I'm just adding a small layer of UV resin to kind of dome the inside part. Next I took some black acrylic paint and I'm adding the details on Alice's little headband and bow. I actually decided on mine not to paint the face because I'm not very good at painting faces and I felt like it kind of might ruin it. So I decided to just keep the face as it was and I didn't go into any detail. I then took some little embellishments and little bits and pieces to add inside the bottle and I'm also sprinkling in some glitter as you can see and I'm adding Alice and then all the other pieces as well so that they can move around inside the shaker charm. Hi. 
Finally, we just need to seal on the clear lid. So I'm using my UV gel and I'm applying this around the very edges and then just sitting the top of the bottle gently on top. And I'm curing this under my UV light. And then actually finally, I forgot that I also needed to add on the Drink Me label. So I just used my UV gel as a glue. So here is what my finished Alice in Wonderland shaker bottle looks like. This was a really fun and simple little project and I think you could definitely have a lot of fun playing around with different color themes. As you can see, I decided to go for a pinky purple aesthetic and I really like the way that it turned out. If you would like to know more about these Disney boxes, I'll leave some more info down in the description box below for you to check out. Please don't also forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys!